Good evening. People in communities in West Alabama feel fortunate that they are not cleaning up after severe weather. It's especially true for those who've already experienced damage in recent years. One of those communities still needs more time to secure life-saving storm shelters. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is in Marion County, where work is being done to add at least two more shelters. I think all of us uh, in sunny weather kind of become complacent. And I think any initiative to uh, train your people in your home as well as your neighbors uh, regarding sheltering is an excellent initiative. David White knows how important it is to have shelter when a tornado comes. I worked with FEMA for a number of years and you can't overemphasize it enough until such time as it occurs and then it's too late of course. There's one storm shelter by City Hall that holds a little more than 100 people. When there was the tornado over a year ago, how many people utilized the one storm shelter that's there now? Oh, it was full. That's why Mayor Randy Price knows there's a need for more storm shelters like this one. Now that storm shelter is convenient for people who are here near the downtown area, but Price says they need two, ideally three more shelters built in other areas. We'd like to see one, you know, at the housing authority we've got back on up further up the road and then there's a, a couple more subdivisions up that way. And then of course there's two subdivisions on that side of town that we're trying to uh, meet the need for the people in those areas. Each shelter would hold 100 to 150 people. But in order to make that happen, but the main things we got to do is try to secure a place to put it that the city would own. Uh, that's one of the problems that we're having right now. And how soon could we see the storm shelter being built? Well, the process, you know, of getting money, if, if you get grant money, it takes a while to do that. You know, sometimes four to six months to do that and acquiring the land. I, I, would, I would hope within the next year, but it may be the next year and a half. Mayor Price hoping, like on Thursday, his small town can avoid another impactful storm until then. In Winfield, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News. Now, the city of Winfield is also still working on repairing traffic lights from that tornado all the way back in 2021. The mayor says they're hoping to have the supplies needed to make those repairs by March 6th.